All right, so now we're going to do weight painting. And weight painting is a little more complicated and a heck of a lot more time consuming. So, so first, click on the skeleton, so that just the skeleton is selected. Go down here and click pose mode. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the first bone that we want to weight paint. So I'm going to select the shoulder bone, and then after you select the bone you want to weight paint, which I'll explain what weight painting is here in a second. It's kind of a mystery right now, isn't it? You select the body after you have selected the bone you're going to weight paint. After you've selected the body, you go down here, click on that, and then go to weight paint. All right, this is weight paint mode. Now, what weight paint is, is it's color coding. What this color coding does is it tells Blender what part of the body we want to be assigned to what bone. So right now, everything that's colored is connected to the shoulder bone. And that's going to cause a lot of problems because even this backpack thing is hooked to his shoulder. So if we were to move the shoulder right now, his whole back would move, part of his vest would move, these things, these pockets on his chest would move, part of his hood would move, and so on. Now that is a result of Blender automatically trying to weight paint for you. And, well, obviously it didn't do a very good job. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get rid of the parts that we don't want to move with the shoulder. So everything that's colored is going to move with the bone we have selected, which is the shoulder. So we're just going to erase the paint that we do not want. We're going to erase the paint on the items that we do not want to move with the shoulder. So in weight paint mode up here, there will be a little drag slider thing and it will say weight. Right now it's set to one. We don't want one because one means that if you were to click on the body that it would add more um, vertices to be assigned to the shoulder. So you want to click on weight and drag it all the way down till it says weight zero and this isn't filled at all. All right. So now if we click, it will erase weight paint, as you can see. Right, before we start weight painting, if this little button is gray, you want to click on it so that it's white. All right, so now that we've done that, now we can start erasing the weight paint. So you want to just find all the parts that are colored that you don't want to move and erase it. So obviously we do not want his backpack to move. So we're just going to erase that. We don't want his hood to move either. We don't want his vest to move. I'm just um, erasing parts of the body that don't even look like they have coloring, just in case, because sometimes the coloring can be so light you can't see that it's actually selected by the shoulder, um, and it will move it when you go to move the bone. So just to be safe, I'm erasing parts of the weight paint that probably aren't even there. And like I said, I'm not going to do a perfect job on the weight paint or the bone alignment since you guys already know how to do all this. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a real basic job on most of this, so it's not going to be absolutely perfect. Go ahead and take time. Go ahead and take your time with yours. Make it as perfect as you want. But for mine, I'm just doing a fast job just to show you guys how it's done. Now that I have finished erasing all the parts that I don't want to move on his arm. On some models, um, it won't weight paint the parts that you do want to move. So 
in this case, on my model, my Resident Evil guy, it is it has selected a good amount of the arm that I want to move. So if you want to test to see how good the weight paint is working, go ahead and just click on this button and then go back to object mode, click on the skeleton, go into pose mode, click on the arm, click on the bone that you're weight painting, in this case it's the shoulder, click on the rainbow thing again, and click on one of these dials to move it. So as you can see, it's done a pretty good job of weight painting after we've erased the parts that we don't want to move. It doesn't seem like it's moving anything that we don't want to move, just the arm. And that's good enough, for me anyway. There's a little bit of the backpack that still moves barely, but that's not that big of a deal. So every time you think you're done weight painting, you can go into pose mode and move whatever bone that you were weight painting to see if it works. And if it doesn't, you can just go back into weight paint and edit whatever you need to change. Um, and then after you've, you're done moving the bones in post mode, just hit Alt-R and Alt-G again to reset them. Um, in some cases, if you don't weight paint good enough, it will derp out a little bit. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Now weight painting can get very confusing at times and there's a lot of things that can go wrong with it. There are so many things in fact that I'm not even going to show all the things that can happen here because this video series would be a heck of a lot longer if I did. So I'm going to show you the most common mistake at least that I made when I was weight painting that confused me very much. Okay, so the shoulder is moving all the parts that are colored and since only this these parts are colored that's the only part it's going to move now if the elbow and the wrist had no weight painting let me just show you what would happen so this is the elbow's weight painting so let's just i'm i you don't have to do this part but uh this is just for to show you guys what i mean i'm going to completely erase the elbow's weight paint and completely erase the wrist's weight paint. Alright, now the shoulder still has weight paint, but if we were to move the shoulder, oh look at that laffy taffy, yeah, and that is because the bones of the rest of the arm have no weight paint, which be can become a huge problem. So basically, when you are weight painting, you want to make sure that each part of um, each bone in the limbs have um, a good amount of weight paint. Like, okay, say the shoulder has this part of the arm weight painted, and the elbow has this part of the arm weight painted and the wrist has the hand weight painted. So that way the whole arm is weight painted like every vertice that makes up the arm is weight painted but each part of the arm is assigned to a different bone. Because if, if the whole arm was assigned to the shoulder bone, then nothing would be able to control the rotation of the hands or the elbow. And it would just be chaos. So I don't know if that makes sense. It's very hard to explain. Um, I'm not going to get into too much detail because it's just kind of annoying to try to explain. But um, after you mess with it for a while, you'll eventually get what I mean. But for now I'm just gonna undo all the stuff I erased from the elbow. That's the basic principles of weight painting. I'm not going to show how to weight paint every single bone because it's it's pretty straightforward now that you know how to weight paint. It's it's the same process for each bone, you know. You go into pose mode, you select you select the bone you want to weight paint, and then you select the body, and then you select 
the weight paint mode and then you weight paint and then if you need to add weight paint put this back to one and then uh, make that gray again and it's that way with every bone in the body I probably won't do every bone in the body if the weight paint is sufficient enough because it's just gonna waste time and it's gonna make the tutorial a whole lot longer so and that is pretty much how you weight paint okay one more example guys when weight painting sometimes the mesh can be a little troublesome because uh, with the hip bone for example if you select it and go to weight paint you can see that up here is colored and we don't want up here to be colored because that means if we move his hip then this whole part of his torso is going to move with it which will look really weird so um, normally you would want to erase that but his weird little trench coat flare things are in the way so the way to fix that is to do this it's a real simple process that you can do for uh, getting things out of the way temporarily so you can weight paint whatever's under it or whatever it's concealing so you want to click on this go to object mode make sure the mesh is selected not the skeleton go to edit mode and press L on the part that you don't want to see so that you can um, get behind it in this case we want to get behind the weird trench coat flares so we're gonna select the trench coat flares with uh, L and then press H and then you want to hit A so that everything is selected and he's glowing bright orange and then you click this go back to object mode click on the bone that we're weight painting click on the body and click weight paint now you're probably like hey bro you're an idiot that didn't work whatever was blocking the part that I want to erase or add paint to is still there well that's because we haven't enabled the um, hidden visibility thing yet which is basically this button you want to click it there so now that's gone you can see everything that was under the uh, the flares and now we can erase those pesky parts that we don't want there when you're in weight paint this little thing that we have selected if it is white that means that if I were to add weight paint like say right here that means that it will do the same to this side the back side of his leg so when you're adding weight paint instead of erasing it's a very good idea to have this disabled because that way if you were adding weight paint to the fingers it won't go through the fingers and hit his leg and <laughs> if you were to move the index finger then part of the leg would move too so um, it's always good to have that disabled when you're adding weight paint and enabled when you're erasing well most of the time anyway that can also become kind of uh, troublesome you may be worrying that when you hide certain parts of the body so that we can weight paint like this that it's going to be permanently removed well we're not deleting it we're hiding it and if you want to make it so that the things that you just hit are unhidden you go back to edit mode and then you just press alt H there we go now everything is back to its original position so that those tips will really help you during weight painting. I am not going to go through the whole weight painting process um, since you guys know how to do it now. Go ahead and take your time and make it as good as you want. Maybe you'll learn a few things along the way. Um, there's a more in-depth weight painting tutorial that I used to learn it. Um, I'll put that in the description if you guys need some more uh, tips on it if you don't quite get it still. In the next video, I'll be teaching you guys how to save your newly rigged and weight painted player model um, as an SMD file and edit a few QC things and maybe even get it in Gary's mod, but I'm not sure because it might take a while and I might have to separate it into a, a few different videos. So see you in the next video.